All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've just stopped here at a local garden centre. It's a really small garden centre. I don't think it's like a chain. Or it might be. It used to be, but it changed over. Um, so I just thought I'd pop out to have a look at the plants, the house plants, um, and see what we can find. Um, there's one thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for an aloe um, retista, something like that. That's, that's, I don't know if that's the exact name. I can't really remember right now um, but I'm looking for that and then we're gonna have a look for not to buy anything particularly but I want to just have a look at the begonias and I really want to look at the cacti because I don't really have as many cacti as I used to I don't think I've got I've got a couple in the greenhouse and I've got one or two in my room um, but I used to have quite a nice collection of cacti so I want to start just having a look again just to see what's around see if there's any new varieties or anything cool that i can find i really want to get like a blue cactus um just anything interesting really so i'm gonna have a look at those and obviously have a look to see what's on sale see what's on discount and because this is quite a strange garden center i, I don't think it is but like this one is not like any of the other ones i go to this usually has quite good prices, like really, really low prices compared to some of the larger go uh, garden centers I go to. So let's hope we can find a bargain or two and um, hope the rain doesn't get me wet, even though it's not raining right now, but it looks like it's gonna rain. Um, yeah, so I'll take you around. I'm gonna have to do a video, um, a voiceover because I don't even know if I'm allowed to record in this garden center. It's quite a small one, so it's a bit like awkward. Um, yeah, but I'll get on with it and I'll see you guys in a moment. Right, so the first thing we've I'm seeing here is some really nice orchids. Um, there are also some, I believe these are dendro yeah, dendrobiums, it says it on the label. <laughs> uh, but $9.99, not a bad price. And then over here we've got some, I think these are Oncidium mixes uh, with really, really pretty flowers. I absolutely love the flowers on these and I would buy one if I was confident that I could get it to reflower. But the colours on these are just amazing and the, the intricacy of the flower. Uh, $8.99 for those, which was, like I think that was a really good price. Um, and then the dendrobiums up the top again. The dendrobiums don't really do it for me. Um, then we've got some calathes over here. We've got the this one that is known as the uh, mosaic. And also the, there's another word for it. I can't think of it. Um, got some, there's a calathea orbifolia. I don't know why I didn't look at that. Some aloes some kalanchoes and some uh, anthuriums, different bacchias here. I've never ever paid any attention to different bacchias, but they are quite pretty, but 10.99 is not a bad price really, I don't think, for that, such a big plant, I guess. And then we've got this huge monstera over here. Um, there was no price, I don't think, but really big. I'm not too interested in um, monsteras anymore, um, the Deliciosa anyway. Then we've got some little Tradescantias. Uh, they're quite pretty, nice little ones. Um, not bad price again. I think I think five pounds of roughly a standard price for those ones. And then there's some little cactus bowls over here. Oh, what am I picking up? Oh, this philodendron. It was only three pound. I don't know what the special buy really means because it insinuate it implies that there must have been others. So I might go and keep an eye out for those next time. Um, but we've got these really cute little planters. Uh, seventeen ninety nine. Not really what I was looking to spend, and I wouldn't buy those anyway. <laughs> but we've got these like little cute peperomias. Um, yeah, I've had one of those in the past, but I don't have it any longer. Um, then there's a weird mix of stuff over here. I think these are peperomias. I didn't really pay too much attention to the label. I was just looking at the price. Uh, but they have one ninety nine, which is like I thought that was quite a good price for those. Um, that was when I spotted the begonias over there. Um, then we've got here, this little guy's got covered in mealybugs. So if you see any stuff like that, like white little powdery bits, just don't buy it. Um, so there's one ninety nine there for some mealybugs. Uh, some crotons in there, Dracaenas. So this croton's five ninety nine. Um, I hear a lot of people don't have luck with crotons. I've never personally kept one, so I will just trust their word. Um, and I won't try it out for myself just yet. And then we've got some supplies here. I was having a little look to see what sort of plant feed they had. Because um, at the moment I'm using SB Invigorator. I'm also using miracle Grow Soluble Mix. Only on and off. I don't use them all the time. Um, then we've got some carnivorous plants here. Looking, They're not looking too bad, but they're not looking good. They need to be like 
bought up quick. Otherwise, they're going to start declining like that Drosera. Um, I've got some Gasterias, which are really cute, one ninety nine. It's not a bad price. They're, they're really sweet. And then some Kalanchoes, the little fluffy ones, one night. Well, one forty nine. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't buy one of those. We've got Chrysoulas. These are little ogre ears. I really want to get one of the large ogre ears again. And this little Echeveria was so, so fluffy. Um, quite cute. Not a bad price again. I think that's a standard price. And then a little Aloe Aristata, which I do pick up because it's the only one. Um, then we've just got some other cacti. Some of this stuff weren't looking too good. Oh, there was another one, but that one was a bit more expensive because it came with a pot and I didn't really want a pot. Um... Yeah, some of the bits are a little bare paw, succulent. I love those. I really, really want to get one of those again. I probably wouldn't get the variegated one again, though, because it grows so slowly. Um, then we've got just a mix of cacti. I was having a little look through here. Uh, this one caught my eye. It was really, it just looked really cute. It was just the only one that looked like that. And then when I looked closer, it's actually the the plant is like growing in spikes as well. It's, it's just really interesting. So I thought that was quite sweet. And that little guy did not look too happy. It's a bit floppy. I don't know if that, I don't. I would. I would assume they're not supposed to be floppy to the touch. But <laughs> um, then we have got some other little cacti, some little fluffy guys. They're all really sweet. I love. I just love looking at these ones. And then this little pancake caught my eye. Look how flat that cactus is. I was so. I was so tempted to buy it just because it looked so flat. But I thought if I water it and it plumps back up, I probably won't like it as much. <laughs> so and then we got just a mix of bits and bobs, spathophyllums. Then the begonias. Um, there was quite like I was quite surprised to see these begonias here because I, I've never noticed any begonias here before. This one is beautiful. That contrasting colour really caught my eye, and I just was a bit obsessed. Um, and then, yeah, I just had a brief, brief look, and then I'm walking back to the car, and I have this in my hand. <laughs> right, I have got back from the garden centre now, and I'm going to show you what I bought. I did buy it two plants. One plant I was looking for and I'm glad I found it. It was the last one and it looks a bit rough uh, but I know it's going to be fine once I water it and it picks up and then the second plant you can see just there but I'll come to that last. <laughs> right so the first plant I got was this Aloe um, Aristata I think that was the name. I've been looking for one of these for a while uh, because I did have one a while ago and it got really bad mealybug well, it got mealybug, and then it died. So, but the, no, I I don't remember the mealybugs being that bad. I but I remember seeing a couple on there. Then the next time I kind of paid the plant attention, it was a bit gone past it. Um, so I've got a replacement. This one is quite big. It's a good size, but it looks very dehydrated it needs watering and this was only 2.99 which it was a really good price because i've been seeing these for around five pound uh so i'm really happy that i found it and it's the it was the last one there uh so once i water it and the soil falling out the bottom once i water it it's going to look pretty good i know this doesn't look that exciting right now but i have just had the craving for one of these for a while so i'm glad i found that um, yeah, and, uh, there's not much else I can say about it other than I'm just looking forward to, like, it plumping up when I water it. Uh, next, I have this massive begonia. I did show in the video there was, like, quite a few begonias there, and they were all £5.49, which was, like, super, like, a really good price, in my opinion. Um, for the size, I guess, like, look at the size of that, and it's such a beautiful variety. I don't know the exact cultivar of this one, but it does, like, really remind me of the, like, tiger paws. Um, so that was what really drew me to it. I love the colour, like, the deep burgundy with the lime green. That contrast is so pretty. And I thought, because it's got so many leaves, I'm going to take cuttings of it straight away, put them in the propagation box so that I have backups if and potentially when this one dies. Because <laughs> um, as you guys know, I don't really have any begonias left. I've got a couple, but uh, yeah, I've got a few little ones, but nothing too, well, nothing compared to what I used to have. I Because I used to have literally like 12 begonias. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but in my small space, that is quite a lot. Um, 
so yeah really really happy with this and for five pound 49 was like a, that's such a good price so i very glad i went and i didn't pay the other ones too much attention because i was looking at this one but i keep thinking back in my mind there was one that had a really nice pretty pinky pattern through it i'm not going to go back and get it but it was just like quite pretty and i didn't really pay it any attention because i was just focused on this um but at the moment i don't really want to expand my collection too much anyway because i'm going to be moving very soon so it will just be more stuff to drag across the to the new house um so yeah i'm very happy with that really cool and um i was only in the garden center for about 15 minutes because uh, it really is quite a small place um so yeah glad i found that it's really cool um that's it i guess so i hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe already and hit the notification button if you want to be notified of when i upload videos as you guys would have known now i'm trying to upload every sunday so um fingers crossed i keep that up and um you guys will be notified on sunday sundays um yeah so i think i'm gonna leave it there for now and i will catch you guys in my next video i'm gonna water that aloe the second i come off of here um, and then I might be giving you an update in the next video about how it looks then. I might try and divide it as well, or put it up into a slightly bigger pot, let the pups grow quite a bit, because there are quite a few pups coming up around the side. So, let them grow a bit and then propagate it, because, yeah, I'd like a big pot full of those. That's my vision. Because um, I think those ones um, grow pretty good outside as well, so I'm going to try that with that that's the plan to have that as like kind of an outdoorsy plant um anyway yeah i'll leave it there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye